Dot got game. I need to address once and for all. Moderators, everybody, remind me to make this into a highlight. Please remind me to make this into a highlight. Is Arcage pay to win? Well, that depends. What is your definition of pay to win? My definition of pay to win is can you, with real life money, get the very best that the game has to offer? The short answer to that is yes. Arcage is pay to win. Do I necessarily blame Arcage for it being pay to win? Now, we've got to separate the discussion into two sections, right? The gear and the cash shop. Okay, with the gear. Technically, can you go and do credit card power and spend $1,000 on illegal gold, get that illegal gold, and then go to the off, go to the auction house and buy the best gear in the game currently? Yes, you can do that. Do I necessarily blame Tryon for that? Not really. I don't because that's the way the game is built. In every MMO, you can purchase their in-game currency illegally and use that in-game currency illegally purchased for little things in the game. Are other MMOs as pay to win as Arc Age? Um Well, I don't I, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. World of Warcraft, you know, the best gear in the game is won either through arenas or through raids, for example. Wildstar raids or battlegrounds. So Arc Age is a little pay to win. Okay, now, let me, with that being said, let me address how the gear in Arc Age works and why I, why it doesn't bother me. Why does it not bother me that Arc Age is pay to win? I'm going to tell you, 1.7 has made it to where gearing up in this game doesn't require credit card power, okay? Now, in Arc Age, if you want to be that top percent, that top 5%, of you know the people you're either going to have to grind incredibly long to make enough gold to where the rng in the game doesn't affect you or you're gonna have to use your credit card personally i don't give a shit about being that one percent this game is not based on 1v1s you want 1v1s go to the 1v1 arena and flaunt your fucking credit card power me i want to take my guild in a rate of 50 and match wits and weaponry with an opposing enemy guild or group and let tactics, strategy, and a little bit of gear, you know, rule the day. The way Arc Age works, though, is with Serpentis gear, okay? Serpentis is equivalent, if I'm not mistaken, to Ethereum. Serpentis gear is really, really, really good to the point where the cloth set is one of the best cloth sets in the game. You get Serpentis for free. There's no pay to win for Serpentis. Take 10 guildies, have at least 8 of them with level 50 Oromancy, learn the fights, and go get fucking geared. You don't want to do that? Well, you can grind a little bit, you know, and get your obsidian gear. So, for me, Arcage has options. You can pay to win if you want, okay? You can pay to win if you want, or you can earn it the way most people would. So... It, the pay to win for Arc Age never bothered me. I never felt like Arc Age was pay to win. It never, it never phased me. You know what I'm saying? Because go do it. Spend your money. Is life fucking fair? No. I'm sitting in a fucking... How many square foot is this house, babe? You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in a square foot. I, I, rich people got it good. Hey, what the, that's society, baby. I'm used to it. What bothers me about Arc Age is the second part. The second part bothers me. And that is the cash shop okay it's the cash shop okay this is what bothers me the rng nature of tryon's cash shop is atrocious it's disgusting it's fucking horrible fucking i can't stand it i want no part of it although i probably will take part in it because there's some shit here that i want i don't like the rng nature of this right here korea doesn't have this now that is fucking saying something. If I want to buy the Sloth Glider, the only way to get the Sloth Glider is to either log in for 70 fucking days and get 350 loyalty tokens or spend my money on these RNG cash shop items. Okay, that is my annoyance with the game. Okay, 
that is my annoyance with this game. That's what bothers me um, about the game. But the pay to win of it doesn't phase me at all, dude. Because here's a secret. Here's a secret. You want to succeed in Arc Age? It's really simple. No, 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 no. Don't, don't fucking. Uh, uh. Don't push me. Oh, I thought somebody was pushing me. You want to succeed in Arc Age? No problem. First, learn how to make money. If you learn how to make money in Arc Age, you'll be fine. The RNG doesn't affect you that much because you're making money. So the first thing you need to do when you're, you know, after leveling is figure out what you're going to do to make money. Are you going to run trade packs on land with a farm wagon and make 50 to 60 gold a pop? Are you going to do trade runs to Friedrich? Are you going to farm coin purses? Are you going to farm and raise crops or raise animals and sell that shit on the auction house? 1.7 has brought a lot of interesting, new, and fun ways to make money in this game. Are you going to go farm ghost ships and Delphinad ghost ships with your guild? Are you going to go kill the mini krakens with your guild and sell the ship designs? You know what I'm saying? There are a lot of ways to make money in the game to where the pay to win argument is, I don't want to say it's invalid, but it's no longer as big of a deal as it was pre 1.7. Okay, so if you want to invest into the in, into the stuff, you know, then do what you got to do now. Okay, talking about, you know, I'm not a sub, so I can't own land. Get a friend who owns land, get into his family, and split the profit. You know what I'm saying? Do I agree with the fact that in order to own land, you have to subscribe to Arcage? No, I don't agree with that. I don't like that because you're limiting a piece of the game to someone who cannot pay. And that that to me is a little bit pay to win. That right there is annoying. I think that you should have al been allowed to at least have an 8x8. At least have an 8x8 without being a sub and you can claim an 8x8. If you want a 16x16 16 /16 or a 24x24 24 24 piece of land, then you got to go ahead and you know um and, and sub but for them to kind of eliminate that completely i can definitely understand people's frustration that is a little bit of pay to win however at the same time similar to eve online similar to world of warcraft and similar to wildstar okay you can pay for your subscription with in-game gold apex on my server is basically going for 200 gold Okay, now to give you an example, um, I can make, if I really focused, I can make, I could probably make 200 gold a day, 100 to 200 gold a day, if I really focused for one day and did what I really need to, you know, need to do. If I focused hard, I could make gold. I'll show you exactly how. These coin purses drop from the mobs in Aurora, okay? They've improved what comes out of these so let me show you i'm gonna open these up now i'm at 417 gold remember that remember that let's see where i end up after opening up these princess coin purses from farming mobs i mean am i gonna get rich in a second no i'm not gonna get rich in a second but it's it's a way to make money and do nothing but kill npcs on aurora in different zones not only do you get gold but you also get items you get Archeum that you can turn around and sell. As you can see, my bag is filling up. Babe, can you lower that? That shit is loud. All right, I'm closing my door. Holy shit. Who knew Virgin Islanders were so deaf? Jesus Christ. So, you know, now, of course, it does cost labor to open these these coin purses and if you're not a sub you're getting five labor online zero labor when you log off versus 10 and 10 for subs now a lot of people don't know this don't log off there is no there is no um uh afk timer anymore there are no afk timers so if you're not a sub just stay logged in all fucking day and you're gonna earn your five labor at least it's something. You know what I'm saying? So, is the mic better now, guys? Is the mic better now? Alright, it's fixed. Yeah, the mic was fucking on the other way. 
So, um, what was, how much gold did I have? What was I at when I started? So, all right. And we'll open up this grand stolen prince bag. Wait a minute, what? Oh, my bag is full. Failed to obtain items. Interesting. Okay. Um, all right, let's go sell some of this lumber. Actually, let's not go sell that lumber. So it was at 417. So, you know, 10 gold and 30 bags, not bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's come over here to the warehouse. And uh, shut the fuck up. Put my shit up, motherfucker. All right, let's put some of this shit up here. Uh, what is this? Agility 13. Fuck you. Uh, worms, I don't need you, 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 I don't need you. Alright. Alright, so, you know, not bad. You know, not bad. Alright, so we'll open that up. Now, I'm going to show you another way uh, that I made money. Another way.